Hello, my name is Garrett Krzyzewski with Mesa Laboratories, and today we're going to discuss why you want to use a liquid submersible biological indicator when sterilizing your liquids, as opposed to an easy test or spore strip type indicator. In a steam sterilizer, if we're sterilizing solid items, uh, equipment, laboratory equipment, glassware and whatnot, steam will come in direct contact with the surfaces of the items we're trying to sterilize. The same is not true when we're trying to sterilize liquid in a container. In this case, the steam from the autoclave will contact the container and it will condense and it's that condensation where you get the transfer of thermal energy from the steam molecules to the glass surface. The glass will heat up and in turn the liquid inside heats up. So unlike sterilizing solid goods, steam never directly contacts the item we're actually trying to render sterile. When we want to sterilize a liquid filled container, we have to consider what's called the lag time to temperature. The autoclave chamber will reach its exposure temperature relatively quickly, but the liquid inside the container is going to take some time to achieve appropriate temperature. And that lag time to temperature will be different depending upon the volume of the liquids we're trying to sterilize. Obviously, smaller liquid volumes will heat to temperature quicker than our larger volumes will. In any type of sterilization cycle, the object is to place the biological indicator in the most difficult to sterilize location of the load. In a liquid filled container, the worst lo case location is going to be the slowest to heat zone. What we need to do is suspend the biological indicator roughly in the middle, the geometric center of this liquid volume mass. To suspend the biological indicator into the liquid, we can take a very thin gauge wire that's easily bendable and simply wrap it around the neck of the Prospore Ampule biological indicator. Give it a few twists to get a snug fit, and now we're going to suspend this or hang it into the liquid load. Now that we have the biological indicator attached to the wire, we simply place it in the liquid. Roughly gauge the middle of the volume, replace the cap, and we're ready to sterilize. Placement of the biological indicator when we have larger volumes is critical because there will be a temperature gradient within this massive liquid. If we consider smaller volumes, there's not going to be as much of a temperature gradient and suspending the biological indicator is not as critical. With smaller volumes, there won't be as much of a temperature gradient within the liquid itself. In these cases, we can place the biological indicator without using a copper wire and simply drop the proamp directly into the liquid volume. Now with our biological indicator seated into the product, we're ready to move to sterilization. You wouldn't want to use a dry preparation biological indicator when sterilizing liquids. By dry prep biological indicator, I'm referring to conventional spore strips or self-contained biological indicators like the ProTest or EasyTest. In a dry prep indicator, the spores are inoculated onto a carrier, usually paper, and when this indicator is placed into an autoclave, steam will have direct contact with the spores on the paper strip. When sterilizing the liquids, recall that the steam contacts the container and we have a transfer of energy that eventually gets to the product and the spores. If we were to try and sterilize this bottle of liquid in an autoclave and use the protest placed beside, we wouldn't get an accurate indication of the lethality of our cycle. The spores in the protest are going to die very quickly because the steam has direct contact with those spores. The spores in the prospore ampule are going to take a long time to get to temperature because they're responding to the lag time to temperature associated with this volume of liquid. Think of it this way. When you're cooking a roast at home, where do you place the meat thermometer? Not in the oven next to the roast. We want to stick the thermometer inside the roast so we can monitor the temperature of the roast itself. In this graph, we can see an illustration of the lag time to temperature and how it differs for various fill volumes. 
We wouldn't want to place a spore strip into the sterilization chamber because those spores on the strip would be responding to the thermal curve of the red line. The red line in this graph is indicative of the chamber conditions themselves. Compare this to the curve of the blue line. The blue line is a 1600 milliliter fill volume and we can see how much longer it takes for that volume to actually achieve the desired exposure temperatures. Notice on the red line that it only takes about five or six minutes to get to a certain point of sterilization lethality and compare that to the blue line where it would take 29 minutes of exposure time in that sterilizer to get that liquid volume up to the same level of lethality. To summarize, we use liquid submersible biological indicators when sterilizing liquid loads. For more information, visit mesalabs.com. Thanks for joining us.